Today is the I want to take you through a very simple but powerful mathematical concept, and that is finding the sum of squares of odd numbers. Uh, an example of a question is that we find the sum of squares of odd numbers between 0 and 10. We understand that uh, the, the odd numbers we have between 0 and 10, we have 1, we have 3, we have uh, 5, we have 7, we have 9. These are the odd numbers between 0 and 10. The sum of the square. So the square, the sum, if we were doing it, sum we will say of squares. Sum of squares will be equal to 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 7 squared plus 9 squared. Which is equal to, this is 1 plus 9 plus, plus 35 plus 49 plus 81. And this one gives you... The sum comes to 165, 165, so that is the sum. There is a, a simple now method of doing it instead of doing search, I can give you a formula. The formula you can use to find that. So we say sum of squares, sum of squares, uh, squares is equal to n into n plus 1, n plus 2, all over 6. This formula works for all when the range, that is 1, the range, when the range is between, when the range is from 0, when the range is from 0. So the range must be from 0, from 0 to 100, from 0 to 1000, from 0 to whatever then you are able to find it. But if it is between, maybe you are told between uh, 20 and 30, you will not apply this formula. You cannot apply this formula. So this formula can apply, for instance, in this question, in this question, therefore, we could have said our n, where, where here, where we say our formula, where n is the last, the last odd, Odd number is the last odd number. Our last odd number in this case is 9. Our last odd number in this case is 9. And therefore, the sum becomes, the sum becomes, our last, which is uh, 9, becomes 9 into n plus 1, that is 9 plus 1, into n plus 2, 9 plus 2, all over 6. This is equal to, 9 times, this is 10 times 11 all over 6. If you multiply that and divide by, it gives you 165. It gives you 165. 165, because 3 here, 3 is 3, 2 is 3, 2, 1 is 2, 5. 55 times 3 is 165. It's 165. So that is, um, one way of uh, doing another example let's uh, do another example to prove the same that is uh, let us do for the range between zero uh, the sum of squares sum of uh, squares of odd numbers odd numbers between between zero and twenty so between 0 and 20, we know we shall have like 1, 3, uh, we shall have uh, the odd numbers will be 1, 3, we have 5, we have 7, we have 9, we have up to 19. So our last odd number is 19, so the formula is L, the formula is L into L plus 1 into n plus 2 out of a 6. So here in this case our n, n equals to 19. That is our n. And therefore, it implies that uh, sum of, uh, of squares, sum of squares will be equal to 19 into 19 plus 1, 19 plus 2 out of a 6. This is equal to 19 times 19 plus 1 is 20 times 19 plus 2 is 21 out of 6 
3 here is 2, 3 here is 7, uh, 2 ones, 2 here is 10, that is 70 times 19, you get 70 times 19, you get 13, 30. So that is a sum. And if you do them manually, like I did, 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 9 plus 11 squared, all that, you will get your answer as 13, 30, but this is the simplest way of doing it. Uh, thank you for listening to my tutorials. and ensure that you subscribe and listen for the next tutorial. Uh, thank you.